What's up guys, this is Chris. Uh, been doing a lot of videos lately, I know. Um, got a lot to talk to you about today. I uh, hope you all enjoyed my last adventure. I had a lot of fun, even though I got way off course. Didn't actually do what I was supposed to do. I did get the grid coordinates that I needed, but um, I could have done a little better job of staying on course. I hope you all enjoyed it though. Uh, I saw that y'all couldn't really see the house. So that's a disappointment. You can kind of see it off in the distance. It's the blue tarp. I had a blue tarp as a roof. Uh, and then further down I walked. I came to a trailer that was abandoned. Single wide trailer. But I had a good time. I always like exploring. And uh, But I want to talk to you about a few different things today. Uh, about what we're going to have for our next adventure. What kind of setup. Uh, briefly. I'll have another video for exactly what we're going to put in there. But I wanted to show you bits and pieces of what we were going to do. And I wanted to talk to you about compasses. Um, been doing a lot of navigating lately because I just learned from my father-in-law uh, a lot more about land navigation, Silva. compass, and uh, had some problems with it. I was going to talk to y'all about that, uh, show you a few different compasses, and I guess we'll go ahead and get to that. So stay tuned. All right, guys. So start out with the silver that I had problems with. I've had this compass for a long time. It's probably taken a lot of abuse, so I can't really say too much bad about it. But uh, this is the Silva that I use. It's a handy little compass. You can kind of see. You can see that bubble. See that bubble? That's no good. That can throw off your your coordinates. You can end up like as much as 18 meters off, which is no good. But uh, before that, I mean, it was it was a pretty good. It's a guide, obviously. Guide model 426. Um, mirror, sighting mirror. It's not a bad little compass, except for that. I mean, I had heard that Silva had quality control issues with a lot of their compasses, and that's not good. So, but I'll show you another compass real quick. This is a military issue compass. My father-in-law gave me this one. It has the tritium in it and the magnifying glass. And this is a really cool compass. It's heavy, but it's really cool. It's got the tritium. You can see it at night. Uh, you sight it in like a rifle. It's got the magnifying glass. You can see your coordinates in there in nighttime very easily. This is a great compass. Great compass. These are expensive too. I think they run about a hundred bucks a piece, but they are, like I said, they're really heavy. Um, let me get a weight on that really quick. Alright guys, so the Kaminja Mil Spec Compass weighs 5.1 ounces compared to the Silva. One point one ounces. It's a pretty big difference. Alright, and then we'll go to the newest one that I got. It's a Sun 2 MC2. And this is still in the box. Haven't opened it, just got it in today. Pretty cool compass. So we'll go ahead and open that up and I'll show it to you from there. Alright, so we've got it out of the box. You take it out of the box, it's got a... Uh, man, it cinches on there hard. Alright. It's got some film over the mirror to protect it. I already took that off. I like this compass. So far, so good. Have to get it out and use it some. It also comes with some instructions and a lanyard. And on this lanyard is a little wrench because it comes with this handy feature back here to change your declination. And what that means is on a map, when you're reading a map, it'll have a uh, a grid north and a magnetic north and there's always a difference and you can adjust that for that so there you have it we've had a look at a few compasses let's see how much this one weighs almost right in the middle 2.45 ounces not too bad with the lanyard it's gonna weigh 2.5 not so bad and something else that I want to talk to you all about I've had a really hard time getting topo maps 
I had a a topo map of. Well, let's get this turned around. And I'll talk to you about. All right, guys. Like I said, um, I've had a really hard time finding topo maps. I had a bunch of topo maps before, and I think I actually traded some packs with a few maps in them. And I sent messages to those guys, but they they said that they didn't find any maps. So I lost them somewhere. And I've been trying to find more topo maps, and I've gone to all the outfitters around here, and they're sold out of almost all of them. And they said the USGS was discontinuing them, and because of technology and apps you can get with your smartphone. I don't have a smartphone. I don't want a smartphone. I don't want to have to rely on technology. I think that's bullshit, to be honest, that I can't get a paper map anymore, that I have to rely on an iPad and a topo map on my iPad. I don't want to have to do that. So I've been searching for like two months and finally I found a place that still does topo maps and they do them really cool. And uh, you can go to their site and you can type in the topo map that you're looking for, but then you can scroll it over to exactly where you want it. And you can also name it whatever you want. And I've got one here. I don't know if y'all can see that, but uh, it's my topo. I think it's just mytopo.com. And uh, you can name the map what you want to name it. Uh, map created for you can put that on there. Like, yeah, I've got Squirrels Nest Outdoors right there. But um, this is waterproof, tear resistant paper. And I had this one shipped to me really fast because I wanted to make sure. I was really excited to actually see a topo map and to actually have found a place that could do what I wanted them to do. And so I had it shipped to me really fast and I still only paid $20 to have this map here in like two days. And so I thought that was really awesome. And uh, for anybody out there who is looking for topo maps and is having a hard, as hard a time as I did finding one, here's your solution right here. Go to mytopo.com. They are great. They ship it to you super fast too. And uh, so that's that. Um, so next we're going to go to uh, my setup for my next adventure. And I'm hoping it's gonna be an overnight. It's hard for me to get away on overnights because I have a lot of responsibility at work and it's hard for me to get away without being in touch with work Hopefully for a day. Next time we're going to be able to get in an over overnight. Um, I'm not sure exactly where we're going to go yet. That's the exciting part is planning everything out. But I do know basic of what setup I'm going to use. I don't know if I'm going to do another video for that or if we'll do it in this video. I have a pack that I haven't used in a long time. Um, and I was going to show that to you today. I'm sure just about everybody out there has seen it. But uh, I was moving some stuff from in the house and back into my shop. My shop isn't insulated, and I've had a hard time heating it in the winter, so I moved a lot of stuff into the house. But uh, today I was moving a lot of it back. And uh, going to go over a few things. And I found a pack that I haven't used much that I'm going to get to use a lot this year. So All right, obviously, we'll go over that. It's an Everly stuff. Everly stock half track. Uh, I believe the color is dry earth. I like the dry earth color. I like Heidi Brown a lot better, but uh, I saw one of these probably about a year ago, and I had to have one when I saw it. And the only one that I could find was dry earth, so that's one I went with. And I actually like the color a lot. Um, a lot of y'all have seen these, so I'm not going to do a review. I was just going to show you what pack I'm going to be using. So we'll get to try that out. I haven't really gotten to use it much at all, but I mean, it's a really cool pack, really cool design. Uh, pull it out in here. Really cool design, so we'll be using that. Kind of got lost there for a second. But uh, what kind of stuff I'm gonna have in there, I'm gonna try to have a different cook kit. Um, even though I didn't use my, uh, last time we went, I believe I took my uh, backcountry titanium cook set. But, uh, that pack's a little bigger, so I'll be able to take my favorite cook kit, which is a uh, hard anodized Morse pot. Or a bush pot. It's a little bit bigger. Be able to cook more stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, I've already got some brown rice in here. But I'll show you what I'm going to take, what food I'm going to take, um, try out the new compass. All right, guys, I did want to tell you before we left that uh, my last video, the off course video, was just really a lot of me walking and talking. And I'm sure there are a lot of people out there that don't like those kind of videos. Um, I was trying to throw some information in there. A lot of it was basic information like the poplar trees. But um, 
the next adventure that we have is going to be a lot more videography incorporated with the walking and talking. Um, this last video was just to get my feet wet and that kind of video. And to tell you the truth, I'm addicted. I loved it. It felt like I was taking a bunch of people with me and going by myself. It is hard to explain, but it was, it was a good mixture. Um, I love being by myself in the woods, but then it was like bringing a bunch of people with me. And I'm not really a talker either. I talk on those videos more than I talk ever in person. So, but uh, I just wanted to let you know the next video, the next adventure is going to be the two styles of my videos put into one. And hopefully y'all like that a lot. I'm excited about it. I'm excited about where this channel is going. Um, I know there's not a lot of viewers and that's not exactly what my channel is about. Um, I love that people watch my videos and I do wish that more people watch my videos, but uh, I don't want to be the biggest channel out there. Uh, I don't care about that, but I do like to share my adventures, and I also like to be able to go back and watch my own adventures again. I'm That's excited cool. about it. I know I'm probably just rambling now, so. But uh, the next video you see will be my setup for what we're taking out, and then the next one will be the actual adventure. So stay tuned. Can't wait. Take care.